Good morning, everybody. Gotta be a little quiet because it is awfully early, but uh, today I'm headed to uh, Jackson, Mississippi to go hang out with my good friend Wayne. Oh, we've had a build planned out for quite a while now, and uh, just gonna be a, a day of woodworking. So it's gonna be fun. We're gonna make a bar stool or a shop stool and a, a, a mortise and tenon type joinery on the bottom and then a curved or carved seat. Uh, I've never done any power carving before, so it's gonna be fun. But it is really early and I've gotta get some coffee in me. Just missing one thing. Someone else who's riding with me. We'll be here in just a second. So, got all the necessities. Little box full of tools. My apron, which you can't see because it's so dark outside. And some gifts. You always take some gifts when you go to visit somebody else's shop. So, just waiting on one more piece of the puzzle. Good morning, Sean. You ready to go, Sean? Sean, you ready to go? It's early. It's early. You ready to go? <laughs> Have you had your coffee? You had your uh, coffee? I'm working on it. No, no coffee yet? No coffee? Okay. Coffee. <laughs> My dogs are barking. Let's go, Sean. Uh, Sean, let's go. Are you ready? <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> we are headed to... We're headed to Jackson, Mississippi this morning. Well, um, kind of Jackson, the Jackson, Mississippi area, uh, to hang out with a good friend of ours, Wayne Brown, and uh, just get back to some woodworking, just have some fun. Um, we're gonna be power carving a seat and uh, doing some mortise and tenon joinery on a, basically making a shop stool. Uh, just a quick and simple, fun little project that, uh, yeah, should be fun. So we made it to Wayne's, already unloaded tools and all that, and uh, we're going to make a bar stool today. And here's the lumber. Bar table. What thickness did you mold it to? Oh, uh, eight quarter. So this is eight quarter maple. And here's the seat, and then here's some nice blanks that he got. Olive wood. He's gonna turn something out of this. I don't know if he'll do it today, but he just got this blank in olive wood, and this is African black wood. And Coco Bolo. But it's a little early still this morning, so we're going to just chill for a little bit and discuss the project. And then we'll get rocking and rolling. Still uh, have a lot of the day left to go. So we got the uh, seat. Anything I say, stop. We got the seat somewhat uh, outlined as far as the way we want to go. The black is the. Uh, do not disturb line and then the yellow kind of represents the deepest point all the way around so i don't know about you but i, I think that looks like the snapchat logo <laughs> so we're over here trying to lay out all the parts for the uh, shop stool and i brought a lot of stuff but the only thing that i forgot was my clipboard which has all the dimensions for the project that we're working on i like to print out everything from sketchup uh, to work from Luckily, a lot of you guys in the comment section have asked me about SketchUp Viewer for mobile devices, cell phones and such, and I've never used it. Well, I just downloaded it on my phone and it saved the day. I was able to get exactly what we're working on. And this, man, I tell you what, technology is fantastic. So I got all the rough dimensions needed and uh, did my own little layout here, or uh, diagram rather so that we can mill out all of the pieces for the legs out of these two boards. But that was a nice reminder right there up front. All right, who's gonna drill the holes? The yellow line. <laughs> How not to work with kids. Let me put my, let me put my uh, 
Sean's gonna get dressed up for this. Let me put my bucket on, y'all stand by. <laughs> Most of the carving done. Uh, Sean did probably most of it. He's, he, I think he's enjoying it the most. He's really, really taken to it quite well. Uh, and I cut the uh, legs for this thing, legs and stretchers. So here's the uh, initial carving on it. Not too shabby. All three of us gave it a little bit of effort on it. Um, Sean, like I said, probably did the most, but neither one of us have had any uh, carving experience prior to that. Power carving, anyway. So that turned out pretty cool. And let's see, this is, what is this? This is a, this is one of the legs. So let me get back over here. And, uh, we've got all four of the legs and all four of the stretchers. Uh, we have to do some, that's not curl, <laughs> that's bandsaw stuff. We have to do a little bit of um, cleanup work because I used the bandsaw like I've never used the bandsaw before and let this get away from the fence. So we're gonna have to plane these down. They're inch and three quarter right now, but probably gonna get about an inch and a half square on all these. And then we'll cut the joinery. So we still got a lot to do, but we're gonna break for lunch. Just blew out the shop. It was, it was insane. 
right, we're back from lunch. I'm set up over here to square up these uh, leg blanks and uh, stretchers and rails, whatever they're called, blah, blah, blah. And they've decided to move the uh, carving station outside. Just a little too messy. So they're gonna be carving out there. And I'm gonna be over here with the uh, leg material getting this ready to go. I do have to plane everything. So I'm starting to stack everything up here in the correct orientation to get everything plain nice and square. Okay, so I've got the mortises, uh, one of the mortises cut, and there's a total of eight. So I don't think we're gonna get done today. Uh, the other mortise is over here ready to be cut as well. These pieces are already cut up a little bit to be the tenons. And then uh, Sean's over there making goofy sounds, trying to make me laugh. But we've got uh, a little bit of blood here. I did not hit the point of the chisel. These are some Nerex mortise chisels and this edge I was holding the chisel like this kind of low and the edge sliced my hand a little bit and I didn't realize it until like two or three chops later so got a little uh, DNA there but little tape that's all it's needed and then the seat these guys got the seat going pretty good excuse me sir it looks uh, looks fantastic looks fabulous what do you think of the seat, Wayne? Fits my butt. Fits your butt. Did you want to bring this back more? Yeah, we'll probably get uh, I haven't worked on this side at all yet. This side's coming along right here. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, we're going to bring it down a little bit. It's three o'clock. Is it three o'clock yet? It's a little after yeah, three. It's past three. It's a little after three p.m. We're calling it quits. We've got a long drive home. We didn't get, uh, didn't get that far, but we didn't. I didn't expect to complete this thing by any means today. So we've got just one complete mortise and tenon joint uh, through mortise. This is all done. This is all done by hand. We were kind of like mixing around and trying different things. Uh, I did this one. Uh, Sean did this mortise. We ran out of time to uh, to get the tenon done, and, and you know, I was picking at Sean the entire time he was doing this, and his mortise ended up turning out a lot better than mine. Write it down, folks. <laughs> Write it down, folks. <laughs> so Sean did good with that. Sean, Sean, and Wayne also did good with the seat. Uh, this is the final state of it today, and yeah, still got a little bit of. A little bit of work to do. You guys remember Wayne? Remember we did a shop tour in his shop? That's where you do a shop tour in the shop? I'm still big and fat. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Camera has 10 pounds. We used a Holy Galahad. Uh, holy what? Holy Galahad. Uh, power carving uh, discs. We used a fine and a, and a coarse. Fine and a coarse. Right. So we kind of shaped this like a Maloof seat. And then of course we'll have the, the legs and stretchers on from there. So we all three took turns. We kind of designed it out. We shaped it out. We got the pommel in place. Uh, so this side is a little bit smoother than this side, but we still have some scraping, some detail work to do. And then Jay's thought was to carry this design coming around this way and taking the thickness off this way so it would be a little bit less bulky. Yeah. I think it will improve the overall appearance. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I think it looks good, man. So, once you get the bottom kind of shape, it'll, it'll really stand out. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of look like a seat. Wayne's going to tinker with this, and he's also going to finish up the base. The goal with the base is to just have just basically four legs, uh, and four legs, four rails, and it's gonna be, two of the legs are gonna be in by seven degrees, and then we're gonna set this right on top of the legs, and then drill through this into the top of the legs, 
and join the two assemblies together with maybe walnut, well, the top maybe, and the base. Maybe, maybe walnut dolls, maybe paduke. Walnut, like paduke. Whatever, some, we, whatever, we, uh, whatever we make the wedges for the tenants. Yeah, some uh, type of contrasting wood. Whatever we make the wedges for the tenant. So it's, it's going to look beautiful. Not too shabby for the first day of power carving. What do you think of power carving, Sean? Yeah, I love it. I'll probably do a lot more of it. Probably gonna do a lot more. What about you? Yeah. You ever gonna do it in your shop again? <laughs> oh man, that was it looked terrible. like it looked like Pensacola Beach in here. It was at least <laughs> this thick. It was all over everything. Uh, it was incredible. Uh, I, I didn't think it would actually turn out this good. You know, I mean, for our first attempt. What are you trying to say, Wayne? It looks a lot better than Macromonas. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, man. Just kidding. Uh, so yeah, so we started carving this inside on the workbench, as you guys probably saw. And we had to actually completely uh, clean up the shop and blow it all out while, well, right before we went to lunch. It was just, it was a bad idea going inside here. <laughs> but we anyway, it was, it was fun though. Yeah. We did yeah. wear safety. That yeah. Hurt. Yeah. Absolutely. We protected our lungs. We had aqua ones, so. <laughs> Anyway, uh, me and Sean are headed back. It's a two hour drive, and then Sean's got like a 45 to an hour drive after that. So you guys take 30, care. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. something. That'll the way up. Sean drives, yeah, 30 minutes. And don't worry, guys, I'll clean up the shop. Y'all just go ahead. All right, we'll this. see you. Oh, okay, let's clean up the shop. We got it. See you. I got this. Take it easy. All right. Two hours later, we're home. Just like that. Just like that. Well, we're at my home. He still has a half hour drive. Two hours later. Two hours later. All right, Monday we'll resume building the vanity. I'm taking tomorrow off. You guys take care and I'll catch you next time.